Okay, welcome back. We are going to now cut into this by doing more stuffs and section views. Yeah, we're going to cut into this. See, we're slicing through the house and we're going to cut and yeah. Okay, anyway. All right, <laughs> go to cross section view, please. Um, this is probably going to be one of the more difficult videos, I'll be honest. There's a lot of detail in this, so it's really important that you guys follow me step by step. I'll make sure I go as slow as I possibly can. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that in the cross section this says medium detail because we're going to need to see as much detail as we can in, in these walls. Okay. Um, do me one favor real quick. I'm looking at these instructions. I thought this footing looked a little bit big. Uh, would you change that to 10 feet 3? I thought it looked a little bit big. If you don't, it's not a big deal. I'm just following the instructions here in this book. So, All right. We're going to do what's called a call out now. Not a shout out, a call out. You can shout out to your friends later. Hit view, call out, and what you're going to do is you're going to draw a, you have to left click and hold, you're going to draw this around this section of your house. Click. Okay. You'll have call out a cross section pop up on your screen. Okay. So I would like you to double click on that next. All right. Here's how this works. If you like, if you like, click on this box here, you'll see how you have some room to move around. Okay, I, I want to drag this outside out here because we're going to put some text and labels in here, and that will save you some uh, troubles later on. Okay. Also, at the bottom of your screen, we're going to change your scale to three quarter inch to a foot, and we're going to make this fine. Should have kept it like that earlier. Oh well. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Okay, step one, we're going to change your foundation. Change one feet three inches to one feet 4.5. The reason why we're doing this is later on, we're going to put a sill plate right here. You guys know what sill plates because we just got done setting them, if you're paying attention. And if not, then we're going to move on with our lives. Okay, uh, next thing is click on the exterior wall shingles right here. Okay, and then we're going to click on edit type. Edit structure. We're going to do them all so we know how to duplicate this. Okay. Over here on the left hand side, you see where it says preview. Click that. Your box should expand out to this. Change floor plan to modify floor plan attribute. Okay. So we got that part done. Next, we're going to zoom in at the bottom of this. I'm focusing on this area right here of my wall. Okay. Um, you're going to click the button modify. Then you're going to click this bottom part right here. You see it's locked? Unlock it. My goal is I'm going to extrude this or I'm going to make this go further down my walls. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to press OK. Press OK. Now what that does is that activates this base extension right here. And I'm going to backspace this, go negative 1 space 4, so 1 feet 4 inches. And if you press apply, that will attach here. Okay, that will bring that all the way down to here. So now our house doesn't have that gap there. So we just fix that. If you did that, you are awesome today. You got that part done. Okay, um, go back to your cross section, please. Actually, the longitudinal section, I apologize. Got to go to your garage now. Okay. Um, we need one more call out. So click up here. I'm going to draw a big box around this call out. Should say longitudinal call out. I'm cool with that. Actually, no, we're going to rename this one Garage Call Out. Press OK. All right, then go ahead and go to the garage call out. So now you see what you created here. Here's the call out. We got to fix this gap here. But in order to do that first, we need to make a quick adjustment to your basement floor plan. So please do me a favor. Scroll up to your basement floor plan up the top, not ceiling, but basement. You are going to select these walls here, pressing control to click this one because I don't feel like doing a filter. All right. And you are going to set your top constraint here to first floor. That should shoot that up to the garage. 
That should fix most of our problems. Scroll back down and go to the garage call out. As you see here, that did it, but it's not a smooth transition. I'm going to make it that way. So click this wall here. You're going to click join. You're going to click that and that, and that will make that one smooth transition. So if you got that, you are sitting pretty. So job well done on that one. Next, I would like you to switch to the cross section call out. Okay. We're going to add some dimensions here. Now, the first things first. Um, move your mouse by this window. It should be facing outward, as in this sill here and this long part here. If you're not sure what that looks like, because you're probably looking at my screen wrong, um, and I'm clicking on these windows here, sorry, let me go back to it real quick. If I click the window, and then I go to first floor, it should stay selected. Oh, yep. It's this one right here. Okay. Make sure that these are facing inward. Guess that's the direction these things should face. I finally learned that. Okay. All right. Go back to your call out. If you didn't get that, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Okay. We're going to add some dimensions in here. Okay. So click on the floor here. I want you to put a dimension right on the base of this. Bring it out. It should be three feet. I'm going to go here and go to here. Oop, nope, I want to go to the one that says four feet. So go to the very top of this, and there we go. So we're going to put some dimensions right there. Okay. So next is a lot of lettering. You're going to love this. Hopefully, I'll be smart enough to give you guys a print off of this so you don't have to watch this entire video of it. But I'll walk through the first few steps. We're going to click on the, the annotate tab. Then over here where it says text, I want you to click that. There are some arrows already preset. Click this arrow. Click here. Bring it out. And you're going to type in 2 by 14 wood floor joist at 16 inches OC. Do you know what OC stands for? Not Orange County. Off center. We get done with that. Just press close and that will save. I'm going to ignore that. Okay. So there's a bunch of text that I need you to put in. Um, and I'm going to do it too right now just so it's finished. So this one right here is a two by six wood stud at 16 inches OC, not OCD. You can just click off to the side, it'll hold it too. Um, we're going to do a full bat insulation that'll be done here in a few minutes. Full bat insulation. Okay. Uh, there's some plywood in here. If you zoom in, this is plywood. That is this dark line right there. Click here. And we're going to call this one three quarter inch plywood. Now, if your stuff is disappearing, that's because this line is too far in, or this line can be too far in. And see, it vanishes. Make sure this is out. That's why I was trying to emphasize that. I'll show you how to hide the lines here in a minute once we get done with this. All right. Uh, doing another one here. Save like always. Okay. Um, right here. This little spot right there. Is your air infiltration barrier. Click off. Doing one more. Uh, we got drywall here. So, right there. It's outside part here. Actually, I'm going to go down here a little bit further because I know this is drywall right there. So, this is half inch gypsum wall board. 
And lastly is a vapor barrier, which is inside right here, which, as you know, what does a vapor barrier do? Helps keep out moisture. Okay. So, that actually wasn't too bad. Okay, so we got that part done. All right, now we're going to put in some more detail, and we're going to do the insulation. I find this to be fun. We're also going to do some sill plates, too. So we'll see how well this goes. All right, start off doing this. You have to go to component. Now, we're, now we're not going to do this component. Under the annotate tab is another component. You have to go to this component. And I would like you to go to the detail component. Okay. You're going to scroll down in here and you get all sorts of different things. The one that I want is a dimension lumber. So it's probably going to be at the top. Yep, there it is. And we're going to get um, a 2x6. And you see here? See what it looks like? Okay. Oops, I was off. It should be a 2x4. That's right. That's where these walls at. So space bar to rotate. We're going to dump one right here. And then we're also going to dump two of them up at the top of the wall because these are called headers. They're at the top. Uh, press escape. I also need a another one right here. And it's going to be a little bit wider. So we're going to go back to detail. And this one, let's go uh, let's go 2 by 10. A little space bar. That looks right. Zoom in, get it fit in there, that little space right there. There we go. I like that. That looks good. Okay. Uh, last step on this is the, the insulation. And then I think we can call this video about done here. So, uh, insulation. It's a little different than the past. You got two and a half. Yep. You click here, move your mouse down. Hey, look at there. You got insulation. How about that? Well, you thought that might have been difficult. So now you have a piece of section view. Now, last thing I want you to do is this. I hate these lines here. These things drive me nuts. So if you scroll down here, you see where it says crop view and crop region. Um, unclick the crop view. Oop, nope. That will bring everything back. So let's bring that back. Crop region. That's what I want. I just don't want that wire there. Okay. You got that done. You are good. Um, I have no idea what the next video is going to hold, but... Oh, it's adding stuff. You guys like adding stuff. I'll show you an easy way to do it. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.